your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. We're going to kick things off here with our Storm Team radar. Starting to see some sprinkles down in that southwestern corner out towards Montana as well. This is going to be a recurring theme really through the rest of the weekend, particularly in western portions of the state. Clear skies elsewhere other than that fog that has persisted for much of the day. Going to be seeing that again tonight into tomorrow morning as well. Temperatures right now are holding steady in the 30s across the state here. We're in the low 30s out towards the east, getting into the mid 30s in central portions of the state. Maybe some 40s out towards the west, but overall widespread 30s here for us this evening. Our winds right now are primarily out of the southeast, anywhere from 10 to maybe 20 miles per hour. Some of those gusts have begun to calm down out towards the west. We were seeing some 35 mile per hour gusts out towards Dickinson Beach, Williston earlier this evening. They should gradually continue to recede as our overnight progresses here. Our winter report brought to you by Absolute Comfort Plumbing and Heating. We are seeing a bit of a wind chill this evening as those winds have picked up again. We're seeing some teens actually in portions of the east. This is the first time actually I've seen a teen wind chill in about a week or so here. It feels like 19 in rugby, near 30 as you approach central and western portions of the state. Our visibility map right now is showing that fog persisting across the southern tier of the state, central and eastern areas as well. Not so much out towards the west, We're just keeping those temperatures a little bit warmer than the rest of us right now. Probably going to be seeing this fog building in overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect till noon tomorrow because of the this fall probably going to be seeing visibility down to a quarter mile at times, particularly in central and western areas early in the night, pushing off towards the east as tomorrow morning develops here. Our wind gust forecast does show those winds beginning to calm down a bit as we push through the overnight hours, giving us mostly calm winds by tomorrow afternoon. Maybe some intermittent 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts at times tomorrow afternoon. However, temperatures tomorrow should warm up again for us into the 40s and the 50s. Again, this all depends on how quickly that fog burns off. If that fog lingers around tomorrow like it did today, these temperatures could be a little bit cooler. So just keep that in mind if, if you're making your plans for tomorrow in terms of jackets or hats and all that good stuff. But hopefully tomorrow we see some 50s across the board here. Our precision cast is showing those clouds persisting through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning as well. Going to be seeing these intermittent showers at times in central and western portions of the state throughout the weekend. But it does appear as if the bulk of the rain will stay out towards our west. Maybe some some snow mixing in there in central portions of Montana. Maybe some rain showers being a little more persistent in the Williston area as you approach Monday morning here, but shouldn't be anything too, too heavy. And so it should stay rain overall as temperatures will be warm enough to support that. As you get into Tuesday, however, we have a chance for some freezing rain, maybe some snow showers up towards Williston. Shouldn't really accumulate to anything right now. Just be aware that by Tuesday you could see some freezing precip mixing in here, particularly in northwestern portions of the state. Our five day forecast for Williston here has a high of 49 tomorrow, staying in the upper 40s really through the weekend. In the 40s, really into next week, a little bit of a cool down as you approach late next week. However, Dickinson five-day forecast. We're in the upper 40s and 50s the next three days, getting just a little bit cooler, but still well above normal by mid next week. My not seven-day forecast. We're seeing a high of 49 for your Saturday. 40s continuing into Thursday of next week, watching those snow chances late next week. And Bismarck seven-day forecast. We have widespread 40s, maybe even hitting 50 on Monday. So that warmth really is sticking around. A little bit of a cool down, however, as you approach late next week. We're ready for it. Of course, it'll be nice to see a day in the 50, but then get us right back to a little taste of winter here. A little bit of a taste. Maybe some snow Thursday, Friday, next week. We're watching it. All right, we'll see what happens. Kenny, thanks so much. Coming up next, we're talking Friday night.